Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode right here on 2020 Flight Simmers. Today's episode is on the G1000. We're going to learn how to program in some holding patterns and we're going to learn how to execute those today. By the way, if you are new to the channel, I highly recommend you go down below and hit that subscribe and tick that little bell because you don't want to miss any future videos like this one. Oh, and by the way, if this video helps you out in any way, then smash that thumbs up button. It really helps us get found by other viewers, just like yourself. So, if you want to know more about the G1000 and how to program in holding patterns, then stay tuned right here on 2020 Flight Simmers. Alright everyone, so we are now in the cockpit of the SR-22. By the way, we are running a SR-22 livery mod. Links will be down in the description if you want to go ahead and try that out. But I must say that it really adds some beautiful textures inside the SR-22, giving it some much needed love. Alright, so before we get any farther into the video, we're going to go right into the G1000 and we're going to learn how to program in some holds into the GPS. Now, we're not going to be using the OBS knob like we did in our past video because that option is not functioning properly in Microsoft Flight Simulator at this moment. So to go ahead and program in our holds in the G1000 NXI GPS unit here, all we have to do is go right down here to the bottom right hand corner, hit on the flight plan button. Now what I want to do is we're going to program in a hold right here at MOOVI. Note the heading we're going to be traveling to that waypoint, which is 311. That is going to be important uh, when we are programming this in. So go ahead and tap on the center knob here of the FMS knob and then highlight movie. Once you do that, if you hit on the menu button, it will bring you up a nice little menu. You're going to go ahead and scroll down to hold that waypoint and then hit enter. Now it's going to give you a couple different options here. Now we're going to be holding on this waypoint. So the course inbound to the waypoint is 311 and we verify that on the flight plan. If you did want to change that, all you can do is go over there and hit outbound course too. We're going to get into the outbound courses in a different video, but for the sake of this video, we're going to be making a right hand turn and making a loop at movie to the right hand side. If you wanted to go to the left, you can turn your direction to the left. So we're going to keep our course at 311. This is an inbound course. We're also going to change this to a distance. So this way we can set a distance in here and we're going to set that to five nautical miles and we have one more option down here and that is either a right or left hand turn. So we're going to go ahead and leave that on the right and then we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and smash the enter button on the load. Now you're going to see in the GPS that we have a nice little loop-de-loop -loop here and a beautiful holding pattern programmed in right here into the uh, Garmin G1000. So now if we come back up here topside in the SR-22, uh, we can see that we are going to maintain this course until we get to that MOOVI waypoint. Once we get to that waypoint, we're going to then start our right-hand turn. And same goes if you want to do a left-hand turn, it would then start a left-hand turn and come down on the left-hand side. Now as you see on the GPS, our previous course had fallen off. Now we have our hold pattern highlighted in magenta. So now that our holding pattern is, is highlighted here in magenta, we're going to maintain this course until we tell the GPS that we no longer want to be on that course heading. So what I want to do right now is follow this course all the way around until we get to about the opposite end. Once we get there, I'm going to take us out of our pattern hold. Now to do that, all you want to do is come down here on your PFD menu and right down here to the SUSP button and you'll see that is highlighted in green. That is our suspend button. Once you hit that button, it will release us back to our normal GPS course. 
Once we get down to the other end, though, we're going to show you exactly how that option functions in the G1000 GPS, so stick with us. Oh, and by the way, if you're getting some awesome information out of this video, a sub to the channel would be stupendous. By the way, if anybody wants to know where we are flying today, we are in Australia. Alright everyone, so if we come down and look here at the GPS right now, you will see that we are all the way on the other end of our circle that we're making here for our hold. Now what we want to do is we want to remove the hold and resume on our GPS course. So now like we had talked about earlier, to remove that hold and resume on course, all we have to do is come down here to the SUSP button and we give that a smash on. Now once we do that, we're going to see nothing has really changed here on the GPS menu, but as we get back up here to the MOOVI waypoint, you will notice that this magenta holding pattern is going to drop off and our next waypoint is at LOGOB and this new line will turn into magenta showing us that we are now proceeding on our course to our next waypoint. So we're just going to follow this holding pattern all the way up to M-O-O-V-I and then we're going to see what the GPS does after that point. Alright everyone, as you can see we are just about approaching the M-O-O-V-I waypoint here and we can also see it here on the left hand side because I have the HSI map up. So now everyone, we're going to take notice right here of what's going to happen with the magenta holding pattern and our next waypoint leg. There you go. So as you see the holding pattern had now went off of the magenta and the magenta line is now on our next waypoint leg. So everyone that is how you do a holding pattern in the G1000 NXI as well as how to exit that holding pattern. I hope everybody enjoyed the video today, and if you did, a thumbs up to the video would be spectacular. If you haven't done so already, go down below and hit that subscribe button and tick that little bell, because you don't want to miss any of our future videos. And to all my flight simmers out there, keep the blue side up. We will see you on the next one. Thanks everybody for watching.